You. Get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, boys. Where the hell is Roger Mahoney? He's here. He took off about an hour ago. Damn it. If you lower your liability from 100, 300 to 50, 150, I can save you approximately $238 every six months, Mr. Steph. Yes, talk it over with your wife, sir. Uh, I'll put you on hold for a minute, but I'll be right back. Valley Mutual, this is Carol Peterson. It's Matt, Mom. Don't forget the game. Oh, gosh, when is it? It's tonight. Mom, we're playing Kennedy. Uh, don't worry, Matt, I'll be there. I gotta go, honey. Mr. Steffi? So what does your wife think? <sighs> Good. Um, I, if you like, I can make that change for you right now. Mm -hmm. There, you're all set. The check will be in the mail to you tomorrow. And led by Special Agent Dave Molina, the FBI, with the help of detectives from LAPD's Narcotics Division, have seized over 100 pounds of high-grade methamphetamine with a street value in excess of $20 million. We've also seized Mr. the cash... Mr. Conager, the warehouse you raided was leased to a corporation called Priority Shipping and Freight, a California corporation, and registered to a Mr. Roger Nahani. Can you tell us who he is? Roger Nahani. Nahani is alleged to have murdered two of our undercover DEA agents 18 months ago in Alhambra. Uh, at this point, I'm going to bring in Assistant U.S. Attorney Mike Kanagawa from my staff. He specializes in Mr. Nahani. Mike? Oh, oh and uh, by the way, Mike's nickname around here is Pitbull. <clears throat> Every time we make a case against Roger Nahani, our witnesses mysteriously recant their testimony. So he's tampering with witnesses. Why don't you get him on that? Roger Nahani is a psychotic homicidal predator with long-standing ties to the Guadalajara cartel and the Arellano Mafia of Tijuana. As a result of today's raid, we'd like to ask him about his crystal meth business. Crystal meth is a highly addictive drug, very popular with college kids. Roger Nahani is killing our kids in unprecedented numbers. He's ruining families and wrecking communities across the country. We have a message for you, Nahani. We will hunt you down, and when we find you, and believe me, we will, I will punish you to the fullest extent of the law. Must be an election year. Yeah. Mark my words, Nani. I will not sleep until I put you away for a long, long time. It's silver with a fire white opal. Monique, it's so beautiful. I couldn't believe it when Brian gave it to me. Ooh, Monique. I'm so in love. When I'm not with him, I feel like I'm just going to die. Matt! <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Another crazy day, nonstop. Look at all these files I have to get through tonight. Mom, we're playing Kennedy. This, this is like the biggest game of the year, so you better not be late. Yeah, I want to be there, Matt. I'll just speed through this stuff. Monique says hi. Hi, Monique. Hang in there, Mom. When I sign my multi-year, multi-million dollar contract with the NBA, you won't have to work again. Oh, well, it's the thought that counts, Matthew. Hey, 11 points, five assists per game? All I gotta do now is grow, like, another two feet. Keep eating that junk, you'll grow out, not up. What's this? It's called food, chicken salad, with celery, raisins, and curry on 12 grain. I made it this morning before I left for work. Okay, see ya. Good luck. Hey, gotta go. Talk later. Ciao. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, that's new. This? Mm-hmm. Brian gave it to me. We've been going together six months. Do you like it? It's kind of an expensive gift. Whatever. Oh, Alicia, he's 20 years old. Sophomore in college or high school senior. What's wrong with dating boys your own age? We enjoy being together. I feel like I can talk to Brian about anything. He's a great guy, Mom. I don't understand why you don't like him. I never said I dislike Brian. You act like you do. The last time Brian came over to pick me up, you barely even said a word to him. It's like he wasn't even there. It won't hurt to say hello. 
Do you look great? Thanks. Hi, Mrs. Peterson. Hi. Nice to see you again. How are you? Fine, thank you, Brian. And you? Good. Good. So do you wanna do you wanna ride to the game or? Oh, no, you two go. I'll be along soon. Well, we'll see, we'll see you there. Point. Matt scored a three-pointer in the last four seconds. It was awesome. Where is he? Oh, uh, there's the superstar. Hey. Unbelievable shot, man. You threw that thing from way downtown. It's a great game. Nice going, little brother. I'm sorry, nice man. Shot, I just Matt. lost track of the time. Maybe if I took you and your mom out to dinner, maybe that would help break the ice. Relax, okay? My mom's just overprotective. We need to give her a little time. Okay, what about uh, a three-month trial membership to the gym? It's worth like 199. I'm trying too hard, aren't I? Bribery is a little transparent. Okay, well, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Night. You didn't have to wait up for me. Game was over at 10. A bunch of us went over to Brian's apartment. We talked, played some music, watched a DVD. Are you sleeping with him? Where did that come from? I don't know, are you? Alicia, I just don't want you to get hurt. You mean you don't want me to end up pregnant at 19 like you did? Right, Mom? So fast. <laughs> Mr. U.S. Attorney Kanagawa. How ironic. There you were on TV talking about how you were gonna find me, and here I find you. What is it you want? Somebody's birthday? My son Tito, he's two. Well, it's too bad that you're not gonna be around to celebrate with Tito. Roger, please don't do this. I'm sorry, Roger? We're on a first name basis now? The other night I was, uh, what was it you called me? A psychotic predator. I guess you're not so tough. Whoa, 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 look. Look, look, we can work this out. Oh, yeah, we can work it out. Man to man, you and me. Oh, yeah. Whatever you want. Uh, Just put that gun down. Well, I'll put the gun down. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Over there.
He's over here. Goodbye, counselor. Street, east of Tarzana, south of the boulevard. This is Peterson. I'm Ray Cloninger with the U.S. Attorney's Office. How are you holding up? I'm not. It was horrible. I want you to know how much we appreciate your coming to us with this information. Mike Hanagawa was a great lawyer, one of my closest friends. Oh, I'm so sorry. I assume Agent Molina's filled you in on the man who murdered him. Yes, yes, he has. Yeah. A cat with nine lives. Uh, every time we build a case against Nahani, witnesses refuse to come forward and testify. Until tonight. So, so what are you... Are you saying he'll come after me? He saw what I looked like. They, they both did. Look, Mrs. Peterson, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Last year, Nahani gunned down two federal officers in broad daylight. Tonight, you saw him assassinate an assistant U.S. attorney. The man's a sociopath. He, he's an animal willing to destroy anyone who, who stands in his way. Why didn't I leave work a half no, hour listen, earlier? listen to me. I understand how frightened you are. That's why my office fully intends to protect you and your family until Protect us how? Are you familiar with the Federal Witness Protection Program? Yeah, that's where people move away and yeah. change their names. Oh, no, no, I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that it, with it my kids. Very, it, wouldn't it wouldn't be for very long. We're confident we're going to nail Nahani soon. Soon could be months, years. By then, he could look completely different. Mrs. Peterson, could... he saw you, all right? He saw the car you're driving. He probably saw your license plates, which are easy to trace. Now, I can't force you to enter the program. But you need to know that if you don't, once you leave this building, you and your children are on your own. that I have an AP lit test in the morning. Yeah, but Alicia, I miss you. Aww. You think it's hard on you? I get to spend the night with James Joyce. <sighs> Matt, answer the door. Matt! Brian, someone's at the front door. I'll be right back. Hi, Matthew Alicia Peterson. Who are you? I'm Special Agent Dave Molina with the FBI. We need to talk to you. About what? Your mother sent us to get you. I'll explain everything along the way, but we've got to go, so please come with us. No. Please, let's go. No, wait, tell what's going on? You're going to be okay. Just come with us. Everything's fine. Come on! I can't quit you 
basketball, okay? School, and I'm, I'm a like, starter. Kids. The coach and the guys. The kids, kids, kids listen to Mr. Klon and Look, you don't, don't understand. These are known killers. They could be looking for your mother right now. Matt, when they find out I have children, they'll come after you, Alicia, anyone they think might lead them to me. This is crazy. I can't do this. Alicia, get back here. I'm not leaving my friend's mom. It won't be for long. These men are very good at what they do. I'm not leaving Brian, Mom. There's no way. Maybe a short break would be good for both of you. I know what I'm doing. I love Brian, and there's nothing to do. Now, now, we got a sniper. Oh, Brad. Shots fired. I want this son of a bitch, Dave. Oh, Alicia, are you all right? <laughs> Make the plates on the vehicle. Was it Nahani? Was it Nahani? You're not sure. We're all okay. Sorry. Whatever we have to do is monitor. We'll do it. I'll need new social security numbers, birth certificates, driver's licenses, ASAP. When are we relocating them? Tonight. What? I, I mean, sir, there's no way I can erase the previous identities from the federal computer files, input new ones, and get the paperwork located that fast. I've already cleared this with the Attorney General's office in Washington, Marshal. I want this family processed out tonight. Glenn, call the airport. Have them get the plane ready. Yes, sir. I can't leave tonight. It's not possible. I have a job. I just can't disappear into thin air without telling my boss. There's my house, the Mrs. kids' Peterson, school. I can't have... in good conscience let you go back to your house. It isn't safe. I've sent a team of marshals to pack for you all. And once you're relocated, we'll help you deal with personal matters, contacting family, friends, employers, those sorts of things, okay? It's Brian. Don't answer it, please. It's my boyfriend. I was on the phone with him when this all happened. He's probably really... Sorry, no phone calls. Calls can be traced. No phone calls? You're kidding. He's kidding, right? No, you heard the man. Can I have a cell phone, please? Please. Thank you. Anyone else have a cell phone? Come on. From now on, there's no cell phones, no pay phones, no phone cards, no emails, no text messaging, none of that stuff. And I don't want you to call your friends or your family, your teammates, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your employer until you have authorization from your handler. But don't worry, the program does provide for periodic screen telephone calls and pick up and delivery of mail. So, if you follow instructions, there won't be any problems. We've never lost a witness who obeyed the rules. Okay. Let's sit down and get started. It's going to be a long night. Mrs. Peterson, I need to ask some personal questions. You're married? Divorced. And your ex-husband lives in California? I have no idea where he is. He left us 14 years ago. We haven't seen or heard from him since. Is Peterson your married name? No. After we divorced, I went back to my maiden name. OK, first thing I have to do is confiscate all your current identification, your driver's licenses, social security cards, credit cards, student IDs, anything with your picture or your name on it. Please. Thank you. Pass those over. Thanks. Oh, Matt, usually I'm pretty bad at names, but the reason I remember yours is because it's written on your sleeve. I have to ask you for that jacket, son. Sorry about that. Thanks. Your new surname is Hathaway. 
No, you can choose any first name you want as long as it's not currently being used by a member of your family. Mrs. Peterson, why don't we start with you? I don't know, um, Margaret. Margaret? Mom, you've got to be kidding me. What's wrong with Margaret? It's like a grandmother's name? Well, at least I still have all my teeth. Okay, and Miss Peterson? I don't care. Just give me one. All right, Jennifer. Stephanie? How about Julie? A lot of young ladies like that name. Fine. Alicia, Mr. Watkins is just doing his job. Can we not make this any more difficult than it is? Jennifer. Okay, Matt. Whatever. Bob. Okay. Get used to these new names. Practice calling each other by them. Because from now on, this is who you are. As of this moment, Carol, Matthew, and Alicia Peterson no longer exist. Police tonight are searching for Roger Nahani, a notorious Southland drug dealer believed wow. to provide the brutal what? execution style. Her name was just erased from the computer. Michael get it back. Come on, get it back, get it back. I, I can't. I, I've never seen this before. A uh, system-wide delete. Look, tax rolls, social security, credit history, DDR file. Everything. Where are we going? Our policy is not to tell witnesses where they're being relocated until we get there, for security reasons. What about our clothes? One of the marshals will pack for you. Yeah. They're being picked up at Van Nuys. Lane's picking them up at Van Nuys Airport. Okay. Get going. I want the flight plan changed. Lancaster Airfield. Well, the plane's waiting at Van Nuys. Yeah, and Hani is no dummy. He's probably got snipers stationed at every local airport. Change the flight plan. I'm not taking any chances. Watkins here. I need flight control. The fast plane's leaving. Did he get a shot? No. They never showed up. Welcome to Seattle, Terry Pritchard. U.S. Marshal Service, I'll be your handler during your stay in the Pacific Northwest. If you have any questions, problems, special needs, come directly to me. Okay. Yeah, I have a question. How many days a year does it rain in Seattle? I picked a good one today. Okay, but how many days a year does it rain here? About 300 on average. See, we're gonna drown. Don't worry. You get used to it, kid. It's not a joke. I'm not your kid. Don't worry. His bark is worse than his bite. My wife says the same thing about me.
we're staying in here? You got it. What's up there? Two more bedrooms. This is Hathaway. Mom, that's you. Oh. Now, you'll get a $2,000 stipend the first of every month, out of which you pay your rent, phone, utilities. How much is the rent? Uh, $1,400. Program supplies you with a car. Gas and maintenance not included. Now, there will be no traveling outside of 25 mile radius with a pre-arranged approval. You've got local service only on your phone. We blocked it for long distance. Now, under no circumstance will you be able to call home unless I authorize it and patch it through. Look what they did. I want to go home. Tell me about it. it you kids. Never take the same route to school or the market. Make sure to travel in pairs and always tell each other where you're going and when you'll be back. Wear this whenever you're going out in public. Any questions, Mrs. Hathaway? This is only a three-bedroom house. Where are you going to stay? Me? I'm not staying here. But I thought or you were... federal officers, not uh, bodyguards, ma'am. The service doesn't have enough manpower to provide personal protection for each and every witness. You don't really expect us to live in a place like this, do you? <laughs> it's not the downtown Radisson, I'll grant you that. But uh, just needs a little pain here and there, so... No, I'm not talking about the condition of the house. I'm talking about safety. There's, there's no security alarm, flimsy locks on the doors. No bars on the windows? Mrs. Hathaway, you're, you're a thousand miles plus from Los Angeles. No one knows where you are. I left a job that I've had for nine years. Pulled my children out of school. Uprooted our entire lives to help put this murderer behind bars. Now, the least you can do is to provide me and my family with safe and secure living quarters. I'll see what I can do, ma'am. Please sign this. Nahani is described as mid-30s, balding, 5'8 and 150 pounds. He is believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. If anyone has any information as to the whereabouts of this man, please call the FBI hotline number on the bottom of your screen. Thanks again. Please do call that number. And now... Find this woman, Michikovsky. Find her and kill her. Any more mail going out? <clears throat> Wait. Here. What are you doing? You can't read my letters. Those are personal. Sorry. Orders from the top. Uh, can't afford any breach of security. I miss Brian so much, Matt. It's our escape back. Change of clothes, toothbrushes, food, and some cash. Things to get us through a couple of days. If we ever have to get out of here fast, one of us has to grab this bag, OK? It's going to live right here by the door. OK. Yo, Corella. Nice rug. Okay, let's quit. 
Okay, who are you? Mom, I know my name. Practice makes perfect. Jennifer Hathaway. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you guys think? Should I call myself Bob, Bobby, or Robbie? Robbie? What are you, 10? Okay, okay, why did we move to Seattle in the middle of the school year? Because we're out of our freaking minds. <laughs> L.A. was too expensive, and you, Margaret, mm -hmm. were offered a better job, which you don't have. Yep. Sure as hell wasn't for the weather. Oh. Okay. Okay, guys. Have a great day. Okay, bye, Mom. Okay? Bye, Bob. No, he got away, but it must have been within the past hour or so, because his coffee's still hot in the cup. Well, can you trace him through property records? No, he was renting month to month using the alias of Russell Kilborn. Pay the entire year in advance. Cash money, no questions asked. Jackson, Fitness Center, huh. 818-555-0159, mm-hmm. Is that him? <laughs> Not one girl talked to me all day. It's impossible to make friends. You will, honey. Just be patient. Oh, 99 cents. Score? Awesome. You don't understand. They've been together for years. I've already got their little clips and groups. I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Don't be long. Got some carrots? Good. Yep. I have a collect call from Alicia. Will you accept the call? Yeah, yeah, I'll accept the charge. Hi, Brian. Where the hell are you? I can't tell you that. Look, w one minute we're talking on the phone, the next minute I've got FBI at my door telling me you're in some kind of trouble. Brian, trust me. If I could tell you, I would. Alicia, come on, talk to me. Is there someone else? Of course there's no one else. How could you even think that? Look, I've got to go. My mother's waiting for me. No, 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 you can't go. I need to talk to you. Ryan, I'm not even supposed to call you. Then, then I'll call you. No, you can't call me back. I'm at a payphone. Look, give me the number. Area code 206-555-0173. 4 p.m. this Saturday, I promise. I'll be here. You're in Seattle. Weapons call into this Saturday, 4 o'clock. Alicia, I, 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 um, I love you. I love you, too. 
Where is the payphone located? Here we go. Perfecto. What's wrong, Robbie? It's Bob. Nothing's wrong. How long is it going to take for them to catch this guy? Put on your seatbelt. It's Tuesday. The basketball team plays on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Look, I know how tough this is for you. Both of you. One of these days, this will all be over. Until then, we're just going to have to make the best of a bad situation. Okay? Okay. Let's go home. It's not a home. It's a dump. Fine. Let's go home to the dump. Does your laptop play DVDs? Now, available on DVD. By James Madison High Yearbook. Is that a yearbook? Yep. Look at that, student government, glee club, National Honor Society. Smart girl. Well, her boyfriend wasn't too smart. Okay. Don't mess up this time, Alexi. Go. Hello? Move. What are you watching? Figure skate. What's it look like? Well, where's Mom? She's taking a shower. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Mom, uh, I need some things. I'm just going to walk over to the mall, OK? What kind of things? Makeup, lipstick, nail polish, things. Wait a few minutes. I'll come with you. It's two blocks. You know the rules of the Jennifer, no going out except in pairs. Bobby, why go with your sister? I'm watching the game. Be nice, and I'll call you Bob. Don't buy out the whole store. We're on a budget. How come I have to babysit her? Because I'm your mother and I said so. Bob? Fine. Half an hour. I want you back here by 4.15. Yes, mother. Come on, let's go. Why do we have to do this? It won't take long, OK? Holy sweet. That is awesome. Oh, man. Cool ride. I'm just gonna run in and get the stuff. Good. Oh, make it quick. Second half starts in 10 minutes. Howdy. Hi. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't be on this. Don't worry. It's not my bike anyway. Okay. Speedometer goes up to 180. I had one of these once, Matt. I got it up to 150. Uh, yeah? That's not my name. What is your name? 
Um, I gotta go. My mom's waiting. Brian? Oh, it took you so nice long. Nice going, Alicia. What? Get down, get down. What is it? There's a man. He knows my name. have a cell phone. I could call Pritchard. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a payphone anywhere. What are we going to do? I have no choice. I have to go back to the house. What do you look like? Can you describe him? Uh, um, late 20s, early 30s. Uh, tall, dark hair. Oh, he had some kind of a foreign accent. What kind of accent? I think it might have been Russian. The same guy that was with Nahani the night of the murder? Oh, I don't know. I didn't really see him. It all happened so fast. OK, now you uh, called this boyfriend of yours. You gave him the number to the payphone. He called you back, as far as you know, as far as you can remember. Did you tell him your home address? No. No? You can't remember or no? You never told him? I never told him where we lived. You're sure about that? He asked, but I wouldn't tell him. I don't understand how they found us. I'll tell you how. They tapped your boyfriend's phone. They know who Brian is? They know who he is, where he is, where he works, what he eats, what he drinks, how many times a day he goes to the head. What do you think? They found him with a Ouija board? These people are professionals. They know the, what the hell they're doing. Mom, they could go after him. What if they try to hurt him? You should have thought of that before you come. My daughter made a serious error in judgment, Mr. Pritchard. For that, she's sorry. If you showed just a little understanding for the situation she's in, you'd see how terrible she feels. With all due respect, ma'am, this has nothing to do with my... She didn't ask to be put in this mess. None of us did. We're here because we're trying to do the right thing. Now, if you would do the right and proper thing and inquire to see if my daughter's boyfriend is safe, we would all be very grateful. In the car. Follow us. Where are we going? Let's roll. Let's go. Everybody in. Please picked up your boyfriend. He's okay.
Thanks. For what? For asking him to check on Brian. And for sticking up for me back there. After what I did, I didn't deserve it. I stood up for you. That doesn't mean I condone what you did. I know that. I, I just didn't think you cared how much Brian meant to me. I've been there myself, you know. Believe it or not, there was a time when your dad and I had feelings for each other. Did you love dad? I had absolutely no clue what love was when I was 18. Come on. I saw pictures of dad in college. He was hot. Your dad is extremely handsome, very sexy. Yeah, I guess hot pretty much sums it up. <laughs> Four years later, I was divorced with two kids in diapers. A nice house all paid for, but I'm broke. With no job skills, no education. Is that what you think I'm going to do? Run away with Brian and breed? You know you think I'm overprotective. <laughs> no. You? There's a method to my madness. In a few weeks, you're going to be 18. And before you know it, you're going to be making your own decisions. It's my job to help you make the right ones, honey. Take your time. Finish college. Find out what you want to do before you settle down. Plane's ready. <sighs> she's okay, right? She didn't get hurt, did she? No, no, she's fine, but we can't afford any more slip-ups. So until we lock up this murderer, there is zero communication between you and Alicia. You can't blame Alicia for this. I, I was the one that decided to make the call, not her. It doesn't matter whose idea it was. An attempt was made on the family's life. And to be perfectly blunt, Mr. Jackson, your life could be at risk here as well. Look, is there any way that you can arrange it so we can see each other? Do you love this girl? Of course I do. Why would Then I do as I say. Can you at least tell me what state she's in? Sorry, son, I can't tell you that. Send us someplace fun like Florida or Hawaii. So, Claire, you were saying you want to go see a movie? Yeah. So, what do you think you want to see? Not sure. There's some good ones playing. Hi, hi, hello. I saw you move in a few days ago. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah. I keep meaning to come over and introduce myself, but I figured you had your hands full. Loretta Rinaldi, I live just down the hall from you. Oh, nice to meet you, Loretta. I'm Barbara, Barbara Brown, and these are my children. Um, Brad. Julie. So, where are y'all from? Seattle. LA. Uh, Brad lived with his dad in Los Angeles for the past three years. Julie and I moved from Seattle. Oh, extended family. Been there, done that. This is my second marriage. I have three kids, and Vinny, hubby number two, has four kids of his own. I swear I can't remember their names half the time. Yeah, I know the feeling. So, uh, we've got ice cream. Well, let's see you around. Okay. Bye. Hey, where'd you learn to play like that? Oh, here and there. You're new. I haven't seen you before. Yes, sir. I just moved out here with my mom and sister from Seattle, so... You play high school ball there? No, sir. I wanted to. I just never worked up the courage, I guess. Interested in trying out for this team? Gee, I don't know. I'd like to. I really would. But I can't. Yeah, I gotta get a summer job. You know, help out my mom. Thanks. What's your name? It's Brown. Brad Brown. Oh, Mr. Brown, I could really use the number one guard, somebody who can handle the ball, run the offense. Most of my players have part-time jobs. Talk to your mom. I'm sure you can work something out.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have had two months to find out where the hell she is. Yeah, well, that's your tough luck, pal, because I'm paying you a lot of money to get me a name and an address. And if you can't step up to the plate, I will find somebody who can. Okay, okay. I'm working on it, sir. Yeah, you, you do that. Hi, Mom. Morning, sweetie. I got you the LA paper. Thanks. This is yesterday's. Oh, they're always a day late. One of the advantages of living in the boonies is you get to read yesterday's news. What's with the want ads? I'm looking for a job. Why? Because we're running out of money. We've got a little over $900 in cash left. Good reason. I'll find something. I was office manager of a mid-sized insurance firm in Los Angeles for nine years. I have extensive computer skills, database, system support, spreadsheets. What kind of salary did you have in mind, Mrs. Brown? Salary? Well, I uh, hadn't really thought about it. You don't have to tell me right now. Just think about a figure and get back to me. Between you and me, you're the most qualified candidate we've interviewed. You're definitely the front runner for the position. Don't underprice yourself. I don't know what to say. Thank you. This is so great. Thank you so much. Hey, everything's in order. With the exception of one minor detail, you didn't include your previous employer's name and contact information on your resume, just in case we need to call them for a reference. That's <clears throat> probably not a good idea. I, I didn't leave under the best of terms. I see. Were you fired? Fired? Oh. No, no, nothing like that. Did you quit? I took a leave of absence. Personal reasons. Is the line secure? Yes, sir. All right, patch it through. I don't get it. If you can make up new identities for me and my children in less than an hour, why can't you create a job history? Well, working in the program is a witness's option, Carol. Fictitious employment records are not something we provide. Mr. Cloninger, this monthly stipend barely covers expenses. If I can't find work, I can't feed my family. Yeah, okay, you need additional income. Look, I'm gonna overnight a supplementary financial request form. You fill it out, I'll forward it to Washington. How long will that take? Just a few weeks, maybe a month. Sorry. He's probably real busy with school and work. I'm sure he just hasn't had the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's eat because I gotta get back to school. Tonight? Yep. Gotta be there by seven. What for? Well, our chemistry teacher gave us all a huge group project, so tonight's the only time we can work on it. Lloyd. How you feeling, buddy? Oh, my head aches, my body aches, and my damn teeth ache. Oh. Yeah, those flus. Going around like the plague. <laughs> and I have the offices down with it. You know, if I was you, I would just, I'd get the hell out of here. <laughs> Don't I wish. I got a mountain of paperwork to process here. <coughs> Lloyd, look. <laughs> just go home, all right? I will cover for you. Come on. You don't mind? No, what I mind is you hanging around here infecting me, everybody else. Now go get some rest, buddy. Everything's under control. I owe you one, buddy. It's about time. Yeah. yeah. You get paid when I get the woman. Okay. Sure. 
showtime. Who is it? It's Loretta from down the hall. <clears throat> Just a minute. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I just had to come by and offer my congratulations. For what? Guess you haven't seen the morning paper. You never told me there was a famous athlete in the family. Do you mind if I keep this? It's all yours. Keep your eyes open. Your name, sir? Oh, I I'm Andy Clark. Uh... United States Marshal Service. It's uh, nothing to be alarmed about. It's just uh, there was a robbery a few days ago, and children might have seen the getaway car. So I just need to ask him a few questions. Okay. Oh. Fine. There he is. Hey. Way to go. Oh, yeah. I love that. Thanks, awesome, Mike. Cool. Thanks. Hey, Brad. Hey, Lauren. There's a party at my house starting. Want to come? Uh, I'll be there. All right. I'll catch you later. Brad and Julie Brown, please report to the office. Oh, I've just paged them. The federal marshal is right outside, Mrs. Brown. What marshal? Well, Mr. Clark. Isn't that why you're here? Mom, what are you doing here? I'm wondering Call the police. Know, where he is now, like what, what classroom he'd be in. Or... What's going on? Hurry! What? They found us! Oh, shoot! The door of the head! Where does it lead? Oh, boy. Downstairs to the outside! How they find us! You don't know! Go! Go!
how did your group science project go last night? Mom, I was going to tell you. When, Matthew Peterson? In this life or the next one? I just don't understand. Why? It doesn't make any sense, especially after what happened with Alicia. What on earth were you thinking? I wasn't thinking anything. It just happened. You don't just happen to find yourself on a high school basketball team, Matthew. You try out, you go to practice, all of which you did while telling me you were off in the library studying. You lied to me, Matt. Lied and put our lives in danger. Yes, so? I lied. I'm getting good at that. Lying about who I am for the past three months? Why stop while I'm ahead? That's not the point. There's a difference. It's exactly the point. One day I'm Bobby, next day I'm Brad. We played basketball in phys ed class. PE instructor calls me out, says I'm dogging it. Which I was, because I'm not supposed to be good at anything. It might attract attention. I, I can't have any friends, because that might attract attention. The only thing I'm any good at is lying, and I'm sick of it. PE class. Kids laugh at me like I'm this big geek of the week. I just wanted to show them that I could play. I was good, Mom. Really good. So good that the coach and players asked me to join the team. And for the first time since we joined this stupid program, I actually felt good about myself. I felt like I belonged. Like I was a person instead of this nobody. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Leave me alone. Mom, we can't keep living like this. Look what it's doing to us. Do you think this psycho druggy murderer will stop coming after us once he's in jail? If anything, that'll make him want to kill us even more. What do you want me to do? Tell Cloninger I've changed my mind that I'm no longer interested in being a witness? Yes. I can't do that. Mom, you tried to do the right thing. It's just not working out. There's nothing to feel guilty about. Do you think I enjoy living like this? Lying about who we are? Afraid to go to sleep at night? Scared to death that someone will break in and... If I decide not to testify, a murderer will go free. Is that what you want? Wake up, Mom. He is free. We're the ones who aren't. LA newspapers take a day to get to New Hampshire. 
So today's New Hampshire paper won't get to LA until tomorrow. What do you say? There's no way someone in California could have seen today's New Hampshire paper, seen your picture on page one and flown clear across the country. It's not possible. There's a leak. If there's an inside leak, I promise you I'll find it. They could be tapping your phone right now. For all you know, the person in the office next to you is one of them. For all I know, you're the leak. We have to move you again. I'm sending one of my best men. No. No, I decide where we live from now on. And don't try to star 69 me because I've star 67 this call. It's blocked. The only people who know where we are are my son, my daughter, and me. Mrs. Peterson, if you hang up this phone, you're out of the program. Your memory's short, Mr. Cloninger. The Petersons no longer exist. Sir? Run this number for me. Yes, sir. Send Melina in here and get me the name of every U.S. Marshal assigned to WITSEC. Western region, Pacific Northwest, New England, red states, blue states, every last one of them. Now! <sighs> Honey's been spotted in New Hampshire. Son of a... Yeah. You should get his description to every law enforcement agency in the six-state area. Check all airports, uh, hotels, motels, train stations, bus stations, rent-a-cars. Find me the son of a bitch. <sighs> okay, you guys, what's going on? Make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wishing for the same thing for the past three months. It hasn't helped yet. Yeah. Never give up hope, sweetheart. Okay, here it goes. Please find that demented, disgusting sicko <laughs> so we can all go home. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't work. It's. German chocolate, mm. your favorite. Yep, 50% off with double coupons. <laughs> we were gonna get you a gift, but you know, we were broke and we didn't want to get caught shoplifting. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. This is great, really great. Mm. I thank you, and Jenny and Julie, thank you. I wonder who I should be this time. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot, I brought the mail. You got a birthday card from Grandma. Was there anything from Brian? No, honey, I'm sorry. He knew it was my birthday today. I don't understand why he... under arrest for the murder of United States Attorney Mike Kanagawa. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say may be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand that? Hello? We've arrested Roger Nahani. Oh, this is unbelievable. So can we, can we come home? Yes, you can. But his attorney is trying to pull a fast one. He's requested a preliminary hearing for late this afternoon. 
and it claims that there's no probable cause to arrest Nahani. Now, this is where you come in. All you have to do is point the finger at Nahani and the judge rules for us. Easy peasy. But I gotta get you here fast, so stay put, okay? I'm sending a team of marshals to pick you up. Rise and shine, boys and girls, rise and shine. They caught him. You're kidding. No, nope. get up, we're going home. Wake up, sleepyhead. Your birthday wish came true. Alicia? Where is she? Alicia? Mom, calm down. She probably went for a- Alicia! <gasps> Car's gone. <sighs> Mom. Dear Mom and Matt, I can't take this anymore. I have to see if Brian still loves me. Please forgive me, I love you. Travis, guess what? Peterson girl flew the coop. Mother says she's headed to LA to meet her boyfriend. Well. Oh. Another teeny bopper, blinded by love. How many times have we seen that one? But the good news is, a clerk at Manchester Airport saw a girl matching her description by a one-way ticket to Burbank, Mid-Atlantic Air. Let's go. Meet you outside. She's flying into Burbank. So much as breathe, and I'll kill you. New Hampshire's got this motto on their license plates. Live free or die. I mean, there is one damn fine motto. You want to live free? Tell the truth. Why this man with big gun will shoot you? You got that? Good. Now tell me, where is mommy? I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. Remember the motto? We were on the run. I don't remember the town. Somewhere in New England. Is New England a state? I took geography in high school. The New England state are six. <laughs> New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont. Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island. Which of the above mentioned is mommy? Huh? Don't <laughs> play games with me. I'm not. I swear. <sighs> we picked up your boyfriend. Yeah. You don't want to see him get hurt, do you? No, don't. Please. Then tell me where your old lady is. It's Debbie. 
Lloyd says hi. Yeah. The mother is landing in L.A. in an hour. They're taking her to the federal courthouse. My agents got here too late. She must have grabbed a taxi. What about Brian? Maybe she's gotten in touch with him. There's no way Alicia could have contacted me. After you were compromised in Seattle, we'll put Brian into the witness protection program. Why didn't you tell us that? Alicia's been worried sick. You promised to protect my family. I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. Find my daughter, Mr. Cloninger. Find her. I'm thirsty. Could I have a glass of water? Oh, well, that's nice. Where'd you get that? It was a gift. A gift from whom? Who gave it to you? My boyfriend. Sir, oh, excuse me, ma'am. This package was just delivered with Mrs. Peterson's name on it. The bomb squad x-rayed it and ran it through the murder. There's nothing explosive. Should I open it? Yeah. It's a necklace I got Alicia. They've got her. Call you at your office at 1 p.m. Wait. How the hell did they know my mom was in this building? I don't know. I don't know. My mom told you that she thought there was a leak, and you didn't do anything about it, did you? What kind of an operation are you guys running here? Watkins, sir. Call's coming in 30 minutes. I want wiretaps and phone triangulation. Seal off all entrances and exits. No one gets in or out. Whoever sold us out is in this building. Switchboard's patching through the call now. Ray Cloninger. Put my man the phone. Hold on. Try to keep him talking as long as possible. Hello? Did you get the necklace? Yes, she's only 18. Please, I'm begging you not to hurt her. You don't want her to get hurt? Don't be in that courtroom today. Let me talk to her. Make it quick. Mom, it's me. I'm OK. Alicia, keep talking. We... Get anything? Somewhere around San Pedro. It's about as close as we got. Peterson, please. I'm doing everything I can. If you'd done everything, Alicia would have never been picked up to begin with. Look, um, Nahani's preliminary trial starts in two hours. I really need you Do to... Do you honestly expect me to sacrifice my daughter's life so you can get a conviction? You mean you want him to win? Is that all this means to you? A young, innocent girl's life is at stake and all you can think about is winning and losing? You're damn right. Nahani murdered my colleague and closest friend, and he left a beautiful young wife and a two-year-old boy to pick up the pieces. Now, if you don't testify, Nahani walks out of that courtroom today a free man. It's as simple as that. Is that what you want? What I want is my daughter. Alive. You had your chance and you blew it. Cloninger. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Has he found her? No, but I've got a real break. Now, please, we have to get to court now. I'm not going anywhere. You find Alicia or I don't testify. 
Travis. Hey, Lloyd. What's up? We checked Nahani's box of cell phones. Turns out six of them had calls to your direct line in this office. You know anything about that, Glenn? No, huh? I know it, no, I To my line? Where's that girl, you son of a bitch? Where is she? Where's the Peterson girl? All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Federal case 5783, the United States versus Roger Nahani. All rise for the Honorable J.T. Jarvis. Be seated. I'd like to remind all parties that this is a preliminary hearing. We're here to determine if there's sufficient evidence to proceed to trial. I see both counsels are present. Are we ready to begin, gentlemen? Your Honor. The prosecution's entire case against my client is predicated on an alleged eyewitness who's not even in the courtroom. Your Honor, there have been some last minute complications regarding my witness. Everyone's here except Mr. Cloninger's mystery witness, Judge. Lacking probable cause, defense requests that Your Honor dismiss all charges against Mr. Nahani. Joe. Mr. Cloninger, are you prepared to introduce any other evidence to the court? If not, I'm afraid I'm going to have to grant defense's motion to dismiss. Very well. Mr. Nahani, you're free to... Thank you. Your Honor. Call Carol Peterson to the stand. The man you saw murder United States Attorney Mike Kanagawa on the night of April 11th. Is he in this courtroom today? Yes, sir. Yes, he is. Would you be so kind as to point him out to the court? That man right there. you knew how much. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> There's someone else who wants to see you. <laughs> Great work out there. What happened? Why didn't you write? I was in the program. I thought they would have told you. Rounded up Nahani's entire crew. Every one of them is behind bars. Congratulations, you did it. That wasn't so hard now, was it? 
Oh, no, it was lots of fun. <laughs> There's still the trial. How do I know they won't get to us before then? Anything you want, you just name it. Well, I want to go home. Sorry, not yet. OK, then, how about a hotel suite in a nice hotel with a pool and sauna? How about Hawaii? Oh, sweet. <laughs> with round the clock protection for me and my family until this nightmare is over. That can be arranged. Anything else? Yes, a separate hotel room for Brian. If he's going to be stuck in witness protection, he should be with us. Thanks for coming through for me. I wish all witnesses had your courage. No, I'm afraid bravery wasn't my motivation, Mr. Conninger. It was fear. Come on, let's go home, wherever that is. <laughs> nice suit, Mom. Oh, one of the marshals picked it up at the house. Look at this, he ironed it. <clears throat> Does this mean we have to change our names again? Oh, that's a piece of cake. You'll get used to it, bro. Thanks for the sunscreen. I want to be